Because my center column, which holds my table, doesn't have a background color, it's getting its background color from the main background color, which is just set to white. But if I wanted to use a background color for the center column, I'll, I'd notice that what happens is the spacing that I thought I had doesn't actually exist. So well, what I'm going to do is just set a background color, and why don't we just set it, set it to something that will be hard to miss, How about lime green. So I will save it, and now when I preview it, we'll see that we don't have the spacing that we thought we had. Actually, I also have a negative margin up on my table, so I probably want to take that out. Let's see. So, yeah, here we go. I got, and this is so what this is what it's going to look like. Now, so far we got the spacing up top is fine between the header and the center, but we want some spacing to the left and to the right. So, this is going to be uh, pretty simple to do. It's going to take two different things. So, the first thing is we need to give ourselves some left spacing. Now because of the way this layout is, we can't simply put uh, margin left on the center. That's actually not going to work. What we're going to have to do to get left spacing, first we're going to change the size of our left column. So if I want five, a five border, a five pixel border or spacing between the blue and the green uh, elements over here, I'm going to make my left column five pixels smaller. So let me go to where I have left set up and it's defined a back. Here we go. The width is already defined. So I'm going to go from 200 to 195. I'll save it and I'll give it a reload. Okay. Easy. No problem. That's pretty painless. Of course, if I do the same to right, maybe all I need to do is subtract five from there. Let's see what happens. Uh, not quite what I wanted because notice how by just me subtracting the width here by five it made it only like shorter here so now it doesn't align right you see from where my cursor is from where the where the gray goes down it goes down right here and it leaves five spaces to go so what I'm going to apply to the right side now is a left margin so I'll put left margin five margin left five pixels and that should push it right back out great now I have my spacing the way I wanted it to I have five five pixel border here five pixel border here it's not a border excuse me but it's it's a space and what I'll do now is just make sure it works in all of them always a good before I do any more edits okay worked in Firefox and now let's give Internet Explorer go works in Internet Explorer. Okay, so what happened here is for the left hand column, we basically all we had to do is shorten the width by the amount of spacing that we wanted. And to the right hand column, we had to do two things. One, shorten the width by what we wanted, so we said five pixels, and then take that amount that we shortened it by and add a left margin to it and that's going to push it on over to the right.